Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is actually pretty much along the lines of what I want this channel to ultimately be, and that is fitness for the female professional. So something I wanted to talk to you about are tips to live a healthy lifestyle. I know there's like a ton of videos out there that talk about tips for dieting and I can give you my tips for dieting, but ultimately at the end of the day, dieting is not really sustainable. So I think creating a healthy lifestyle is what truly will make you healthy in the long run. So I'm going to give you my top tips for that. So let's get into the video. My first tip is to find a way of eating that works for you. There's a million ways out there to eat. There's gluten-free, there's vegan, there's paleo, there's keto, which don't even get me started on keto. There's a lot out there, but what you have to find is what works for yourself. Anything that is a fad is not sustainable. Um, for me, like being vegan has, it didn't really even start out as a way to lose weight, um, but it has become sustainable for me and it's something I'm committed to and it's easy just because I have been doing it for so long, but you have to find a way of eating that works for you and whether that's tracking macros, that's intermittent fasting or any of those other ways that I listed, you have to find what works best for you and what you truly, truly enjoy. Because if, if you're, for example, keto and you're eating 40 grams of carbs that are only in fruits and vegetables, um, for the rest of your life to truly truly be doing keto right that's how that's what you should be doing is that really sustainable in the long run probably not there's gonna be a point in time in your life where you want to have a slice of cake at a party or you want to have Thanksgiving dinner with your family so it's just it's finding what truly will work for you in the long run that's my first tip to live a healthy lifestyle the next thing I want to talk about is fitness, which obviously fitness is a huge part of my life. And one of the reasons it's been so easy to make fitness a lifestyle is because I do what I love. I look forward to my workout. I lift six days a week, and that's something I look forward to every single one of those days. And yeah, like it sucks going in there when I know I have to do cardio, but like imagine if I felt that way about lifting. I would dread doing my workouts like every day of the week. So you whether you like to like lift weights or say you like a spin class or you're a runner or you like to do like body weight like plyometric stuff you just have to find what you like and it's okay to try like a hundred different things until you find what you truly love and if you like a combination of some stuff then like that's great if you want to do yoga three days a week and then like lift two days a week like just something like that you just truly to make it sustainable in the long run because that's what we're really aiming for here is to create a lifestyle and you're going to hopefully live 80 90 years it has to be something that you can sustain for that long and just try everything until you find something that you love because i'm sure there's something out there that you'll fall in love with another thing that really helps um, with creating a healthy lifestyle is finding a balance and prioritizing things as they need to be prioritized obviously we know that sleep working out eating healthy all of those things are really important and they should be a priority but should they be a priority 100 percent of the time no if you're on vacation with your family what fun is it going to be if you are still sticking to your diet and not eating any fun foods while you're on vacation or you want to go out with your friends for a night and stay out a couple hours late like yeah sleep's important but so is like your mental health i guess that's kind of what i'm trying to get at is finding that balance it truly just helps you just overall create that healthy lifestyle now i'm not saying like go take tequila shots to the face every single night of the week that's not good balance but if you want to do that one night of the week or once every once a month like that's just that that is that's a healthy lifestyle that's what you want to strive for is finding that balance when some nights you might have to say no because you're tired or you know that you ate like crap for lunch so you're trying to like pull it back together in the evening so just so like that like it, it's it's trial and error like it's not gonna be perfect trust me like speaking from experience like it's not perfect but it takes time and really like will you ever find a perfect balance maybe if you're lucky but i think just keeping that in the back of your mind can truly help you just like create that like full healthy lifestyle and then my last tip is actually um preparation so 
Obviously, we all know that I love to meal prep. I've made plenty of videos about meal prepping, and for me, that's being prepared. That's me going to work with food, knowing what I'm gonna eat for lunch, instead of having to run to Whole Foods and grab something off the salad bar and spend like $18 on a salad, or even worse, like just going to like grab some fries somewhere for lunch. So it's that's one way that you can help create a healthy lifestyle is by being prepared. Preparation is huge though, so just thinking ahead and knowing what's going to be going on and obviously sometimes life will blindside you, but I think from a day-to-day -day standpoint just truly being prepared um, for the day and again it kind of ties in with the prioritizing, like what are you going to prioritize and what are you going to prepare for. That's going to do it for this video. Um, I am very happy to be like back to YouTube regularly. Um, I am going to say that because of Vlogmas coming up and I'm going to be posting for 25 days straight, my videos are probably just going to be once a week between from now until December 1st. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. No particular day that I post, sorry, um, life happens. And I'm very much looking forward to Vlogmas. I've kind of already started to plan everything out. So um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you guys in the next video.